Hey, Steve Stein here. This song is called Take Me to Church, and I have had a ton of requests for this, so I thought I would get to this. Um, but this song is going to require a bit of explanation because there's a lot of stuff going on. So there will be a chart available for you as well. Um, so let's just get right into this so you don't have to listen to me talk too much about this. Um, let's start off by just making sure you have all of your chords ready to go. You're going to need E minor. You're going to need A minor. You're going to need D. You're going to need G, and I'm using a four-finger G. With any of these chords, you can use anything that you want, um, but there's a method behind why I'm using what I'm using. So I've got a four-finger G right here. I'm going to use C add nine by taking these two fingers and simply moving down one string. And the reason I'm using this C add nine versus a standard C chord is because we also need a C minor chord. So what I can do is just take this C add nine, take my first finger, which is on the fourth string second fret right now, and simply move it back to the first fret. And I can make a C minor that way. Okay, so that's a real easy way of making the C minor chord. And then we need B7. And that's about it. We've got a couple single note things we're going to get to and all of that. So the beginning of the song starts right away with the verse. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing six beats in each measure. So we're doing E minor for four beats and then A minor for two beats. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's twice. And then you're going to head over to G and then go to A minor. So G for four beats and A minor for two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then back to E minor and A minor one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's try this together. One, two, ready, and E, two, three, four, A minor. A minor, two, three, four, A minor, G. Back to A minor, E minor, then A minor. So anytime you do the verse, that's what you're going to play. Now, in the very beginning of the song, there's minimal strumming. You could just strum each chord one time. But as the song keeps moving on, you're going to do more strumming. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we come to our little, little bridge. I, don't, I shouldn't call it a bridge. It's just kind of separating the sections. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a D for four beats and then C for four beats. And again, you could play a C uh, regular chord, um, you know, C add nine, C bar chord, whatever is comfortable for you. And when we play those chords, D and then C, we're going to head back into the verse again, which is E, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, D, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Now we're coming out of the verse. We're going to be moving into the, the uh, pre-chorus, going into the chorus. So we hit C again, and we hold it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? So we play C for four beats, then we hold it for four beats. And then we're going to go into this G, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And here's where that C minor comes in. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the little, again, pre-chorus is what I'll call it. So I have G, two, three, four, C, G, two, three, four, C minor, G, two, three, four, C minor, G, two, three, four. And then that's where you're gonna do this little single note thing which is going from three to two, and then two to one on the sixth string. So I'm going three, two, two, one, and then I'm gonna start my chorus, okay? So let me go through that little, uh, actually I'm gonna take it all the way back and you can play along with me. We're gonna do the verse, going into the D to C thing with the extra Cs, and then we're gonna go into the pre-chorus. So here we go, from the very beginning, uh, we, we're skipping the first verse. We're just going to start right on the second verse, second section of the first verse, I should say. Confusing, isn't it? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now we go to D, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
minor. And that's, of course, why I'm including a chart for you as well, so you can follow along with the song and you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now we're moving into the chorus. Now the chorus is going to use E minor, B7, and G. So you're going E, 2, 3, 4, E, 2, 3, B7, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, G, to A minor, to E minor. Now we're going to do that same little single note thing, but the frets are different. We're going to go 5, 3, 3, 2. So I use pinky for my 5. You don't have to, but I'm going 5 to 3, using my pinky to my middle. And then 3, 2, I use a middle to first. So whatever's comfortable for you. So let's try that together. And again, if you have the chart, follow that. So we're on the chorus now. 1, 2, ready, and minor. 2, 3, 4, one. to the B7. The G, A minor, E minor. Then you've got your. And then you go back again. You're going to do that twice. All right, so then we come off of that. We go back into the verse. We go back into the DC thing. We go back into the verse again, back into the DC thing, um, back into the pre-chorus sort of it doesn't do the whole pre-chorus and again you'll see it on the chart so if you follow your chart now i'm going to be I'm, I'm we're starting officially the second verse now so i'm going to be doing e minor two three four five six one two three four five six g two three four five six e two three four five six d then c now we do the whole thing again e minor two three four five six Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, D, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, and then we go back into that thing again, and now we're into the chorus, so we really don't do a pre-chorus there, just that little, and then into the chorus, so we do the chorus. Then at about two minutes and 32 seconds, we come to the next section, which I'm going to call the interlude. That's what it's going to say on your page. And basically here, we're going C, G, B7, E minor. We just do that a few times. C, G, B7, E minor. And then we're going to come off that into the D. And then that leads into the chorus, or excuse me, the pre-chorus, the G, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six. Right? So now we got, sorry, I, I played a C, I should have played C minor. So I have G, two, three, four, five, six, one. Here's the C minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and then you're. Then we go back into the chorus again, and we end on E minor. So that's why I want to give you the chart. The, the song has a lot of parts. It's not overly difficult to play. It's just that you have to get the song organized in your head. And I think the chart will help you uh, follow along. And of course, the beauty of video is you can watch each segment, you know, the, the verse or the chorus or the pre-chorus or whatever, as much as you need to, to kind of develop how it is that you want to put those together. And let me know. I mean, email me if you have any questions about anything. I'd be more than happy to help you.